Catalina is over by the big board for Truth or Fake. A very good evening to you, Catalina. A marketing stunt for a TV program going viral. Um, tell us more about what this actually is, what's involved and what it's all about. Netflix's season four of Sex Education was just released in the platform last week. And for those of you who are not familiar with this series, Sex Education is a British teen comedy series that follows the various personal dilemmas of teenagers and adults, uh, dilemmas that often have to do with sexual intimacy. Uh, for the last season of this series, Netflix has gone viral for its latest marketing stunt, this giant condom that would have been installed in the Buenos Aires obelisk with this video that's been seen several million times on the internet. Obviously, this uh, alleged publicity stunt created many mixed feelings on the online community. Some were all for it while others not so much. This user saying, for instance, what a way to ruin monuments. How do you explain this to a three to six year old child? While others also said that this was a total lack of respect. Who in the world approved this? Emily in Paris. So this uh, a giant condom was also all over the local news, international news as well, uh, where they discussed the controversy over this extra, extra large publicity stunt. Right. Okay, so, um supposed to be promoting a Netflix series. Did Netflix actually do this? Well, uh, yes and no, Mark. This is a real advertisement <laughs> produced uh, by Netflix for the new and final season of their uh, show, Sex Education. However, this scene was never filmed in real life in Buenos Aires, as some might suggest. What we actually see is a CGI, a computer-generated image. Many users did nonetheless share this video as real without specifying that this was a CGI in the caption or elsewhere, because uh, this this obviously leaves the door open to misinterpretation. There's a real a difference between a post like this and a post like this that does specify in the caption that this is a computer generated image. So how are we actually able to verify that this is a CGI? Always go back to the source. You will find the original video uh, posted by Chenetflix, that is a, an official Netflix account based in Argentina. And while they don't mention in the caption that this is a CGI, you can click in this little man in the far right to see who has been tagged in the video. And they actually tag this company right here that's called a Vertex CGI. Uh, that is an agency that specializes in uh, visual effects and animation uh, for promotional uh, purposes, a company that is based in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, this wouldn't be the first time, however, that this type of CGI publicity stunt has fooled the online community. Uh, just recently, back in July, this video of a giant Barbie doll walking in Dubai also went viral and was confused as real. This was a publicity made for the, the movie a Barbie, but in reality, this was also a, a CGI created by iStudio. Uh, it's going to be the biggest Barbie doll that anybody's ever seen, but of course it is CGI. Now then, a uh, big plug for that CGI company, of course, so good for them. Um, the example in, in, in Buenos Aires, um, CGI, of course, is what's been used there, but it's been done in real life. Is that true? Indeed, it's been done in real life and in Buenos Aires as well in the year 2005 uh, when the government of Argentina actually covered the Buenos Aires obelisk with a giant pink condom uh, as, uh, as part of the World AIDS Day Prevention Campaign. So unlike Netflix's publicity stunt, this is a real life uh, pink condom that was placed in the obelisk of Buenos Aires and Argentina is not the only one. In 2014, uh, Sydney's Hyde Park obelisk was also covered with a giant pink condom condom for HIV awareness and France uh, doesn't fall behind perhaps one of the first in 1993 when they covered when the activist group ACT UP uh, dressed the obelisk in a Paris's a Concorde with a giant pink condom uh, in the fight against homophobia, transphobia and HIV. So not an uncommon way it seems uh, to bring awareness to this deadly virus that is HIV. Indeed, in France, as you say, leading the way 30 years ago, covering that uh, obelisk with its own uh, massive pink condom. Obelisks with messages, that's uh, a very good thing to take away from this uh, edition. Catalina, thank you very much indeed. Thanks to you.